give, 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 give me the stimulus So I can go pay my rent I will not be ignorant I, I swear it be heaven sent give, 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 give me the stimulus Give me the stimulus All right, all right, Green Man here with the goods. I know I've been gone for a few weeks. I've uh, been getting ready for classes, starting back, and uh, I'm sure, as you all know, there's been a lot going on, uh, especially with, you know, for me personally, the cryptocurrency market's going crazy, so I've uh, just been a little caught up, unfortunately. I haven't been making videos, but I'm trying to get back to it here. We're going to talk about uh, education today, and specifically American education. The American education system was modeled after the Prussian education system, which is now uh, Germany, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, the reason we modeled our system after Prussia's education system is because they had great, great disciplined factory workers. It's, it's not designed to uh, boost creativity or create people who are happy or self-confident or uh, it's not a self-directed learning model in which if you know, you know, um, you're destined to become a scientist that you would have all the building blocks that you would need to discover that for yourself and also learn the information that would correlate with your career path. You know, everybody has something that I personally believe that they're great at that, you know, they were just put on the surf to do. Um, and with that being said, I think the best way to go about education would be a self-directed learning model. Had I had um, been given that in school and outside of school, I think I would be in a different place. But it doesn't really do us any good to look at the past and think about what we, could ch we would change to improve. What is our present? We should look at our present and see what we can change to improve our future. And with that being said, we can go ahead and uh, read these real quick. Only 7 in 10 ninth graders completed high school on time with a regular diploma. About 6 in 10 high school seniors going to college the following year. Why are students dropping out? And I'll be honest with you. I just told you it's because nobody wants to go to school to learn how to be a good little worker and a good little honeybee. Nobody wants to go to school to learn how to be subjected to whatever it is they're told. There's a reason that when I was in school, we went to school, um, I used to get in trouble because we were told to do the Pledge of Allegiance every single day. And one day I stood up and I said, you know, I'm, I'm not going to do the Pledge of Allegiance today. I'm going to stay in my seat. One because a pledge isn't something that you take every day a pledge is one time thing like like oh doctors don't clock in every day and pledge the hippocratic oath you know what i'm saying that that's that's time consuming and the reason that they had you do that it, whether you agree with it or not in my personal opinion would be propaganda it's to make sure that you have it drilled into your head that you live in america and this is how we do business this is how we do things uh i i would get in trouble uh in the classroom for doing this and the only person who would actually stick up for me was a was a marine a teacher who was a former marine because once i explained to him that hey i'm not being lazy i'm not being disrespectful i just don't agree with certain things that are being carried on and therefore i'm, I'm exercising my right to not stand and to not do that it's not an assignment it's not something that i'm graded on and, and he was cool with it and once he explained to the other teachers they eased off but before that i was getting sent to isap i was i was you know uh threatened with detention and all kinds of things because just like if you were to work at amazon or just like you were in a prison when that bell rings you need to do what you're told to do when that bell rings. They, they condition you to follow unquestioningly, follow unquestioningly whatever you're told to do. It is what it is. If you've ever seen some of these videos where police officers are interacting with somebody who knows the law and they react aggressively, that's because more oftentimes than not, regardless of whether somebody knows the law, they comply because they know their life is in danger. Yeah, you could argue with this police officer, but he could shoot you and seeing as how everybody in this precinct will vouch for him, you could lose your life and your family could have nothing to show for it. It could just be that simple. Because somebody's having a bad day and, and thinks that you're being smart, especially if you are darker than a brown paperback like myself. So with that being said, um, the education system has been flawed. If I'm not mistaken, 1962 was the peak of the American education system. I got that statistic from Dan Pena, who, uh, you know, he talks about how he did very, very poorly in school. But... He still turned under $1,000 into a million-dollar fortune, and the man lives in a castle right now. So I think I would rather listen to him than uh, any of the teachers who I learned from in school. While, while they all, some of them are some good people. Um, if they're not making a million dollars, if they're not doing what I'm trying to do, if they're not doing something that I would be proud to do right now or at their age, then no, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not concerned with what they have to say. I'm not concerned with their opinion. Don't think that you have to go to school, get good grades, and be you know, a successful college graduate to be successful. That doesn't mean that you can slack off, not do anything and be successful. No, you're going to have to find something and, and work really hard at it. Unless you're just a savant and you're just great. You're just a wonderful pianist uh, off the rip, just, just an immense amount of talent. But, you know, you're going to have to work at something, whether it's social interaction or social media so that you can display to the world your uh, wonderful talent. Doesn't really mean anything. I mean, it means something, but as far as, you know, 
money is involved, money is concerned, and you know, living your life the way you want to, or living your life comfortably, and yeah, it may or may not be of concern if you don't learn some of these other things that would allow you to utilize your talents to the best of your ability. So, um, with that being said, when you look at these stats on education, when they tell you, uh, and, and, and mind you, with this being said, I'm, I'm in college, but I don't necessarily associate what I'm going to school for to graduate to be the only way that I could, could you know, earn a living. It's, it's, something that I'm passionate about and that's why I'm willing to go to school and pay money for it. I'm not going to go to school and pay money for something just so I can go work for somebody else and increase their fortune and increase their riches. No, this is something that I want to do to enrich myself and something that I know is going to make me happy. Uh, unfortunately, I don't live in a country where college education is free. Uh, maybe I'll move to Germany or Canada or somewhere else where I think they do things a little more sensibly, but um, don't, don't let other people's opinion on your education or the education system in general skew you to doing something that you're not comfortable with. Like Ariana and Big Sean said on, the, on that song, do your research, do your research, do your research, do your research, do your research. Because 13 year olds are making millions every day. Uh, you know, the little kid Ryan who reviews toys on YouTube, he's a millionaire. There's capital out here, there's money out here. There are people who, if you are interesting, or you have some talent, or you know, even if you don't, because hey, look at the Kardashians. Somebody, somebody is interested in whatever it is you have to say, somebody's interested in whatever it is that you do. So uh, with that being said, educate yourself. Don't let education interfere with your learning. This has been Green Man here with the goods. Get out there and grow.